Alrighty, everyone. We just got some big news regarding Prey 2 and Dan Trachtenberg confirming that we are going to get another Predator movie along with a Predator series all made by Dan Trachtenberg in the center of it. So this is going to be very interesting. So sit back, relax, and I will explain what is going on. With the success of Prey coming out in 2022 along with a comic series called Wolverine vs. Predator, it was only a matter of time now with the critics and everyone who doubted that the franchise would still be good today has been firmly proven wrong with Dan Trachtenberg confirming that we are going to get a new Predator movie called, well, not so much called, maybe a placeholder known as Badlands. So I have a theory on what this could be, being that Badlands can only mean so few things. My top theory is that we are either going to the Wild West or we are going to be getting something involving bad blood predators like in Predators movie. But unfortunately, this might come as sad news to some of y'all, being that the movie will not continue Naru's story back in 1719 where somewhat of a retcon explanation of the pistol from Raphael Adelini. So this is kind of a little saddening, but I'm like, all right, I could maybe not care as much because, hey, it's still a mystery. We don't know what exactly happened to where Greyback or Golden Angel got the pistol and gave it to Detective Harrigan. But regardless, I think this is going to be very very awesome and i really really hope that we get a another bad blood on screen appearance because those guys can do some seriously good storytelling and makes you root for the human characters for these guys to lose unlike some of the honor bound predators i don't know it's just me but yeah regardless I hope this is going to be a really good movie. There is somewhat of a nitpick being that we are going to get another female-led Predator movie. Some people might not like that. Some people like that. Me, I'm kind of in the middle. Like, I really want to... I don't know. I don't know. I th I think it would be really cool to bring in some newer blood. And I don't know. It's just... I don't know. <laughs> it's interesting is all. It's a very interesting concept. Maybe because I'm sort of like on that bandwagon of the Aliens franchise has a female-led solely characters. And the Predators have male-led series only kind of thing. Kind of like Cats vs. Dogs is kind of that thing. But yeah. Another thing I really like about how this is all being set up is that just like Prey, we only have the placeholder name of what this is going to be called. Like how Prey was known as Skulls when no one else knew what the name would be until later on. So everything is very tight-lipped. We don't know anything about it other than it's going to be a female-led Predator movie and it's going to take place in another time period. And I'm very curious. I'm really excited that we're not only getting another Predator movie, but we're getting multiple Predator movies thanks to this the success of Prey and the Predator franchise. I got to say, we did it, boys. We did it. We're getting more. And I can only hope that with these more Predator movies, it's mo mostly focused on quality rather than quantity. We don't want another... Um, Marvel mistake kind of thing where we get lost on wanting more rather than wanting better. I can also only hope too that with the success of this new Predator movie coming out and the fact that the movie is now out of pandemic's hands we can actually see another new Predator movie in theaters with other fans of the fandom. It would just be great like, I'm okay with the movie either coming out and streaming because that's what Prey did. But for it to be a true success, I would really, really love for this to be taking place 
in a movie theater for us all to enjoy and just have that epic experience of going to the movie theater of seeing what we love again. So as far as I could tell, that's as much info as we got right now. But what do you guys think? What do you think Badlands could be? Or what do you think of the details we got so far? Name your favorite Predator movie or your favorite Predator story. Go on. Let's let's all hang out in the comment section and talk about this because this is big news for us and we are finally being shown the recognition that this community deserves. And I can't wait to see where this goes.